What's up, YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi Battle. And last time I brought you guys a battle featuring my old Sun team, and today we are going to continue the better team a bit, as I'm going to bring you a battle featuring my latest uh, Rain team, and that kind of rhymed, despite my accent. Anyways, I shall digress. But indeed, I'm using this rain team again, featuring my uh, tornadoes. So actually, I've been tweaking this team a lot because, um, you know, I've been kind of trying to work work on finding the perfect partners for tornadoes. So far, it's it's been going pretty decently. But anyways, here's a match against Silent Slash, and uh, he's using the infamous uh, core of Gastrodon, Skarmory, and Heatran, which I'm really afraid of, because uh, you know. Especially Gastrodon, you know, since I'm using a rain team here and uh, you know Heatran could possibly take my hurricanes from my tornadoes So I really need to work around this uh, defensive core that uh, you know is really good uh, This is probably the first time I'm facing this core myself on Wi-Fi So uh, let's see how this goes. I lead with my Politoed since you know just to get up my rain and uh, see what he wants to do. He leads with uh, his uh, freaking uh, Staraptor, goes for the U turn, and since he's faster, that means he is scarfed because I am scarfed as well. But I'm gonna go for the safe Ice Beam. Didn't want to go for Hydro Pump because of this Gastrodon, which does decide to wall me here, so I'm pretty much forced to switch out and I just go into my Dragonite. Kind of foolishly, as he goes for the Toxic, meaning that I will lose my Multi Scale. And I won't be able to regain it because I don't have a heal beller or anything on this team. Actually, later I did b decide to put, uh, put a heal beller on this team. Kind of change up a few guys. But uh, anyways, I'm just going to go for the safe hurricane here. This is a specially orientated Dragonite, which does have the serve. But I don't really want to go for it. Not just yet, because he might also see it coming and just, uh, you know, go back into his Gastrodon and get the... Storm Drain boost, so I'm actually just going to opt to switch out here and uh, go into my Jirachi Because I should be pretty much able to wall him Because you know the rain is up, so uh, he should not be able to do too much You know, but uh, he goes for Stealth Rocks and, and uh, I'm gonna set up mine and I already saw Lefty, so I'm pretty sure he's a uh, a bit of a bulkier variant and uh, it is the case since he shows me the Lava Plume which doesn't really do mu much, but of course he was hoping to get the burn. Luckily, it doesn't happen, so I won't be getting any resi residual damage shenanigans. But anyways, here I'm just gonna go for the Thunder, because I was kind of hoping to paralyze the uh, Heatran, because that's pretty much the only status that I can get on that thing. But he actually switches into his Skarmori without scouting what I would have. And, uh, you know, it really ends up biting him in the ass, because basically now I can just revenge kill him with anything on my team. Pretty much. But, uh, now he decides to go into his, uh, Gastrodon, which he probably should have done in the first place. I guess he was just thinking I might have Body Slam, but then again, even though if I would have had that, that, it, you know, it would have been better for him to, uh, just, uh, go into his Gastrodon scouting what I would have. But anyways, uh, I just go for the Iron Head just to engage how much it would do to the uh, Gastro. But he actually switches into his Weary Zeon and goes for the Work Up right here. And uh, I'm just gonna go for the uh, Thunder, just uh, hoping to get the Parahax on him, which I do end up getting right here. Yes, Jirachi for the win, the Hax God. And I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head. And it does not flinch him, he does not get paralyzed, and he hits the Focus Blast. That was against the odds right there. I'm not really sure if this thing was like mixed since he was running the cheer up, but maybe he only had like Leaf Blade or something, I don't really know. Anyways, um, he dies due to the Life Orb, so, uh, and in comes the uh, Staraptor again. And I, I could possibly take a hit, but uh, you know I have uh, I have my my physically defensive four address max HP max defense here to take pretty much anything that he has. So I'm just gonna switch that thing in, and uh, you know I could could have possibly uh, you know killed him off with thunder, possibly live the hit, but I didn't want to take the risk. And also I really want to get off a rapid spin, which I do get off here as he switches into his heat ran, which is nice. So I'm just gonna go for that, and uh, on the following turn, 
I am going to switch into my uh, Dragonite right after these. Left these. There we go, finally. Thank you. One Night Stand, I really love this game. <laughs> I love this name on this Dragonite. I think it's funny even though I say it myself. Anyways, I digress again and uh, I take the Lava Plume really well. You know, I get in without, you know, getting raped by the Stealth Frogs. 25% it would be every time, which is nice. And uh, now I'm finally going to reveal to him that I do have the Surf. I do have Modest Nature and uh, Max Special Attack, so I was really hoping, and Rain boosting my attack, but uh, I was really hoping this attack to do a lot more, but I'm guessing <laughs> this is a really specially defensive heat rank, because it only does like about half, and even, like after leftovers, I'm not even sure if I could uh, two hit KO him, which is just crazy, but uh, now I'm pretty sure that he's gonna switch into his, uh, you know, Gastro here, so I'm gonna switch up my moves, go for the Hurricane, uh, just because I was thinking he would switch, and he does, and I'd even end up getting the confusion hacks on this Gastrodon, so I'm actually just uh, gonna switch out here on this following turn, because it doesn't look to be a 2 hit KO, so I don't really want to stay in, and the Toxic seems to be racking up really fast, so yeah. I'm gonna switch out and go into my Foragers, and also I think he was at this point, I remember, this is like a couple weeks old, but I think he was saying something that uh, he missed off his Gastrodon or something, so I don't really know what attacks does he have. But uh, he goes for Toxic again, so I'm guessing this is indeed somehow missed off, but uh, the dick that I am, I'm of course going to take advantage of this situation and, uh, you know, bring out my Foragers and go for the Rapid Spin again, get ri rid of those rocks, they're definitely going to he help out my uh, Dragonite and my... Um, Choice Specs, uh, Hurricane User, Tornadus, oh yes, Tornadus. But anyways, in comes Lucario, I'm just gonna go for the Vault Switch, you know, it's the safest option. I was kinda thinking he would be specially orientated, but I didn't wanna take the risk of him attacking me directly. So now I can get a safe switch, and since I know he's specially or orientated, he won't have the extreme speed, you know, since he's a nasty plotter, and uh, he just has the Vacuum Wave, and uh, you know, that won't really do anything to my... Uh, Tornadoes even off the plus two, so I'm I can just uh, easily finish him off with my choice specs hurricane But uh, in comes the uh, Staraptor again, and uh, since I already learned that he is choice scarfed He will be able to outspeed me, so I don't really want to stay in and I'm just gonna switch into my fortress He goes for the double edge. He has the reckless boost and that actually does a lot. Oh wait. Okay. It's a crit. Yeah, I was about to say but uh, Yeah, that's a crit. so it did quite a bit, but uh, yeah Fortress still takes it like a champ, and uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the uh, Vault Switch again instead of uh, setting up any entry assets, because it's already late game, so uh, no really point. I just rather keep my offensive momentum going on. So he does go into his Heatran, and I do get a safe switch into my Tornadoes again, and um, I'm just gonna lock myself into a Hurricane. I do have Focus Blast, but then again, it can miss, and tor uh, Tornadoes should be able to 2-hit uh, to KO this Heatran from this range anyways. So I figured it would be just my safest option right here. You know, I don't want to lock myself into Focus Blast and, you know, it's really difficult to try to sweep with a Focus Blast anyways. So uh, he does go for the uh, Lava Plume, gets the burn unfortunately, but uh, I sh should still be able to live a couple of uh, burn hits or residual damage from it. And um, yeah, I should be able to live two, two more from here. So I should be able to take a couple more guys, and uh, he does go into his Garmory, which is already crippled by the uh, Thunder. But anyways, even if this would be, you know, this tornado, it is able to 2-hit KO standard Garmory that's uh, physically defensive, and 3-hit uh, KO the ones that are specially defensive. So that is the raw power of the uh, Tornadoes. And uh, in comes Gastrodon, and uh, from this range it won't be able to t take a hit either. So he goes down, but uh, unfortunately the burn will take me out, but uh, you know, it doesn't really matter because the last guy will be the uh, Staraptor anyways, and I guess he figured it would be pretty much game for him anyway, so he didn't want to bring that in directly. But indeed, Staraptor is his last guy, and he's just gonna lock himself into close combat, which uh, may or may not be a 2-hit KO, and I just really wanted to get a for rabbit spin kill, but it doesn't KO even of the, the, the defense drop, which is really unfortunate, so I'm really hoping to live this next hit, and I survive with 2 HP, and I'm gonna go for the rapid spin, and <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was a crit, 
Wow, absolutely beautiful. So that will be the game. Rapid spin for the win. So thank you for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this match. And uh, leave a like rating if you did. All that shenanigans that you guys do always. But uh, indeed, that will be all for today. And um, I don't really have anything, anything special to talk about today. But uh, today... I'm probably gonna bring another battle. I might do some Minecraft again and stuff, but I'll have to see what I'll do. But uh, definitely stay tuned for tomorrow. More stuff to come and uh, such things. Check out my fuckbook page and Twitter and whatnot. All those good links in the descriptions, as uh, Nobs would say. But indeed, that will be all for today. So thanks for watching again. This is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace.